This is Rugby Merlin and welcome back to the channel. This is my reaction to New Zealand versus Fiji. So 47-5 to New Zealand was the final score, uh, but an entertaining match, uh, particularly from New Zealand's perspective, and a lot of talking points too. Um, of course, these games are building up to the Rugby Championship, which um, is building nicely and it's going to be a huge, uh, huge tournament, I think, this year. Um, in the first half, New Zealand uh, dominated the set piece and Fiji weren't really able to compete with them there. Um, particularly scrum time, uh, they suffered a lot. Uh, I thought Luke Jacobson uh, competed very well in the lineup. I uh, looked like a, a very solid lineup option, which is something that they're going to have to consider when they go into the rugby championships. Uh, I'm thinking against South Africa in particular. So I thought he had a good first half, um, a few tries from New Zealand and uh, Caleb Clark on the wing, he looked very hungry and very keen to do well. He had a lot of power, a lot of pace as always, but I feel like his game is improving as he goes on. He's still a very young man um, and I think he's he's very uh, cognizant or aware of the fact that uh, there are areas of his game that he needs to improve and it looks like he's working hard to improve them and yeah, he. he Definitely looking the part and, as I say, really uh, enthusiastic and confident too. He's definitely got his confidence back after a good season at uh, Super Rugby. So just before the uh, halftime whistle, uh, the New Zealand nine picks up an injury. He uh, smacks his head on the floor and maybe the Americans should have uh, watered the pitch a little bit more because it looked like they were playing on concrete. Uh, so that was a bit, of a, a bit of a blow to New Zealand having lost uh, TJ. Uh, the last uh, last out in, and then uh, you have uh, uh, Holtham come on, um, who's way down the pecking list usually, but he comes on youngster, and um, yeah, he played all right actually. He did, did his job well, and the fact that you don't, I can't call out any errors that he made is perfect start for him. I think in a, in an All Blacks jersey, and uh, as the game went on, because he had a good like over forty five minutes. Um, he looked more and more confident. He made a couple of snipes and good breaks later. So uh, that's the thing. It's a, uh, a blessing and a curse when you know you're forced to dig uh, deep down in the roster. Um, but from the coach's perspective, um, it's like a, a no lose situation because he's forced. Uh, his hand is forced in in terms of like putting the, the youngster, the the unknown player on. Uh, so he can't be blamed for it really. And if the player shines, then great. We found another like kind of class act. So second half, uh, the Fijians did get a lot more possession, which they lacked in the first half. And, you know, they kept a pretty decent shape in the first half, but they start throwing the ball around a little bit uh, in the second half and attack the New Zealanders. But um, yeah, it's just not sticking, just not clicking. And uh, mm, they, they didn't really perform up to the level that we kind of expect. They had a very good World Cup. So they will be disappointed with the uh, today's performance but it came up against uh, I, I thought a very hungry and uh, uh, confident surprisingly I think that that series win 2-0 uh, against England has really boosted the boys confidence and uh, the New Zealanders look sharp you know a couple of errors uh, particularly off the kickoff I don't know what's going on there um, they mucked up a, a fair few uh, kickoff uh, uh, receptions so um, yeah that's something that they can easily fix though I think it's more the timing of the jump it looks like they were going up a little bit early but uh, overall Fijians not really clicking uh, but New Zealand playing well and two of their best players were in the midfield um, very nice partnership between Anton Leonard Brown and uh, Proctor was on his debut unbelievably looked a very composed uh, player very intelligent good decision making um, physical as well, great ball retention. Didn't really get a chance to show his pace that much, but um, yeah, uh, partnering him, which is great, was Anton Leonard Brown, a supremely experienced player. And you wonder, I know he's had a, like injury troubles, but uh, he's such a classy player, and um, it surprises me a little bit that he hasn't just 100% cemented his position at uh, inside centre. So we'll see how the squad uh, selection goes now for the Rugby Championship because uh, New Zealand are going to pick a, a new squad uh, for the championship. This squad was only for the England tests and the Fiji games, so that's going to be really interesting because, uh, on that point, the debutants, Derry, Bell, uh, ne Neiwa and uh, Setiti, 
who by the way has one of the most epic barnets I've ever seen, just like a mane of a mullet, absolutely superb. But uh, they all played really well. Um, yeah, very impressive. I know, like, it, they weren't up against the world champions or, you know, um, like a first tier nation, let's be honest. But uh, still, Fijians, you know, on a big physical side, and uh, those boys did very well. Um, so uh, I think he introduced them uh, at the right time during the game. So we're obviously going to take a, you know, a partner back for that. And he blooded them all. So some nice young players coming through. And that's great to see because the immense pressure that Scotty Robinson was under uh, in the, the tests against England now. He has a little bit of breathing room and he's, he seized that opportunity and he's brought a few young boys through. So like that's uh, perfectly done by him and well played. Finally, uh, you know, Mackenzie's under the spotlight a little bit, as every number 10 is, but um, I thought he played well. He kicked, uh, his place kicking was very good, and he, he stuck a few over from the from the touchline, which was very uh, satisfying for him, I'm, I'm sure, and, you know, for fans too, watching him. But, uh, yeah, he played pretty well, a couple of errors, but, you know, that's the thing about playing 10. You're going to make errors, is how do you respond? Respond, um, kept his confidence, uh, kept going forward, took a big hit from one of the Fijians, which he didn't see much of, actually. I think New Zealand's body position was very good the uh, majority of the time. Uh, didn't leave themselves open. But, uh, yeah, I think he played well. And um, place-kicking is key to him, like, uh, cementing his uh, first-choice status at 10. I think if he nails that and he's 90% or above, then, you know, he, he's kind of a shoe-in for, for the 10 position. But, yeah, he's going well. Um, yeah, what else have I got? Uh... Yeah, all I can say now is I'm looking forward to the, the squad selection for the Rugby Championship. I'm hoping that um, Jody Barrett goes back to uh, 15 um, and uh, Proctor and Anton Leonard Brown in the centre. I'm only joking, half joking, but uh, yeah. Uh, we'll wait and see, uh, but it's exciting actually. I'm really excited now to uh, hear what uh, Robinson's squad's going to be. Uh, so congratulations to the New Zealand fans. F uh, Fijian fans, uh, we love you, but, uh, you know, they get that set piece sorted, boys. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, see you for the next one. Bye-bye.